Mr. Harry Selby about to get this one underway. A catch weight of 174 pounds and three five minute rounds if they need them. George McManus in the light brown. Milton, right, you ready? King right, B, you Alfonso right. Carroll in the black with multicolored trim. Touch of gloves and we are underway. Oh, nice wow. leg kick. And this is where we expect Milton to excel on the feet. He's a very, very powerful striker. There's a lot of pop behind all those shots. And you see the size of the dude's thighs. You know yep. those leg kicks are coming with baseball bat like power. Yeah, George instantly looking the butt scoop forward, which is something we don't see very often in MMA. But, you know, straight away after that first engagement, you know that he's going to want to try and get this fight to the mat where he is really at home. He's training with uh, Charlie O'Neill himself, who's a well credentialed uh, tying and kickboxer. He's taking a few shots there, but there, there, there it is. From there there is. Though. I mean, he ate a few heavy shots in that that exchange from both men and now into a body lock position. And he's actually got a dog, dog bar on here. He's actually attacking a knee bar right now. He's going for the finish as we speak. And he finds that he, he actually ends up sweeping himself in the process. But he was actually trying to finish a, a, a dog bar, which is a knee bar done purely with the legs. So it's from that deep half guard position. And you try and apply torque by pushing your hips through. He wasn't able to get it. Milton found himself on top, but George still in a great position. Got that nice body lock, and he's trying to drag his man back down to the floor. Immediately on the back there, back exposed. He's got long legs here. Expect to see him tie up a body lock. There it goes, using a outside body lock position. I thought he was going to go inside body lock for a second, but outside body lock position. And now, you know, plenty of time on the clock. It looks like the arms underneath the neck, and it's just about fighting those defensive hands. Now he's doing everything right here. He's still applying the pressure. You don't need to lock off, but now he has, and this is going to be done. There is no way out of this, and George is already celebrating there, and there it is. Well, MMA is probably the one sport where you never want to celebrate prematurely. So how confident must George McManus have been that that was all she wrote? And he did everything right from the second he got a sniff of the back there. And here's the finish. Yeah, you could already see him cheering at that point, looking over to his corner. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Harry Selby, calls a stop to this contest after one minute and 52 seconds of the very first round to claim your winner by way of rear naked choke in the red corner, George the Hangman McManus.